May I take your coat? Please. No one will disturb you here. Your hour began when your friend arrived. You gentlemen, enjoy yourselves. Thank you. She. She came recommended. Still on the wagon, eh? Twenty six months. Good for you. Last August, uh, said I uh, wasn't the same match. Oh, well, of course you're not. You don't quit a decade of hard drinking the way that you did and not expect some sort of a personality alteration. All the same. It was for the best. So who's keeping your bed warm now? But you weren't keeping tabs on me anymore. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> but I know you, and I know that you haven't gone more than three months without some sort of a situation, be it a committed relationship, faulted by misplaced loyalty, or your standard run-of-the-mill prolonged fuck buddy scenario, dating all the way back to the time that Heather Robbins broke your heart in the 10th grade. So uh, based on the current timetable, it's August, I'd say you're probably in, what, the apartment key stage by now? You're good. You're fucking good. Her name's Lisa. Mm -hmm. She's a bartender down in this little place in Tampa called The Glades. Good cocktail. That's how you want to play it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about fucking trust. It's been two years and what, you still feel the need to lie right to my face? I'm not lying. Oh, oh you're not. So you're living in Tampa now? Yeah. Where the fuck's your tan? Another round? Actually, I think I'll just take the bottle this time. Okay. So what's a girl like you? Don't be a walking about? cliche. Can't blame the guy for trying. Clock's ticking. Fair enough. Can I ask you a question? Comes with the occupation. Who's your best friend? 
Lauren Castor. Hmm. Uh, how long have you two known each other? Let me see. <laughs> 22 years. 22 years. It's a long time. Must be some friend. I'd like to think so. Over the course of this long 22 year friendship, the two of you ever had a falling out? Of course we did. That long, how could you not? There was this one time when we were younger, she was royally fucking pissed at me. You were a boy? Girl. I, uh, stand corrected. She always wanted her first experience to be with me. I wasn't interested in risking losing my friendship. So what happened? We didn't speak for a few years until we ran into each other at the market down from my apartment. What's your relationship like now? Hmm. Good for you. So would you say the, uh, the time apart was good for you two? Absolutely. We needed time to discover ourselves, and that ultimately led us back to each other. Hmm. What's the point? The point is forgiveness. Without forgiveness, we're just animals. Without forgiveness, our wonderful drink bear here wouldn't have found true happiness with her, Lauren. Most importantly, without forgiveness, there can be no trust. So I forgive you. Can you forgive yourself and trust me? Just bring over the bottle and let's get this night over with. He's had a long day. And he's been without the, uh, the company of friends for a very long time. And we both know how important that is now, don't we? So are you here to show him a good time? I didn't get your name. I didn't give it. The bottle? You done flirt fucking the bartender? Oh, I think I'm actually barking up the wrong tree there. Wouldn't be the first time for you. Ladies first. Oh, I insist. <sighs> now that's interesting. <clears throat> Left or right? Left. <sighs> so 
suits you. Your draw. Must be my lucky day. There's no such thing as luck. How many of you had already? Shut up and count. Time. <coughs> <coughs> Again. You know the rules. Thumb or forefinger? Thumb. Mike. Shut the fuck up and give it to me. doesn't have to be this way. You know it does. This is your fucking problem. You don't know when to quit. You always have to take everything too goddamn far. Go. You know that's why Rachel left you. Fucking go. All right. Fuck. Right. Again. What are these? If you walk out of here tonight, you're gonna wanna get to an ER as quick as you can. My turn. Way. You ready? No, we're fine. Yes, he does. <laughs> Let's take a break. No. We finish this now. And fuck the game, let's go for a walk. May I remind you of the rules? He hasn't forgotten. He just knows he can't beat me. <laughs> Look at yourself. You're losing. I'm just getting warmed up. I am compelled to remind you of the terms of your contract and the rules and the guidelines of this establishment. Oh, are you? Okay? You have 35 minutes. Hey, why don't you pull up a seat? Let go of me. No, I'm just that. I won't say it again. Come on, drink. Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Okay, house bra. I fucking warned you. 
Your choice. Option one. <laughs> he really is your friend, isn't he? Fine. Once. But make it count. Count! Damn it! Dinner will be served in five minutes. Might I suggest a recess and a refill? No. No, play continues. As you wish. <sighs> Haven't you had enough? You just don't know when to quit, do you? You're just torturing yourself. Just like you always do. No. No, I'm settling in debt. Very well. Draw. Suicide King. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Your draw. You remember? You remember the time we went out west? And we picked up those, uh, runaway hitchhikers? <laughs> 18 and willing and stars in their eyes. And we just drove up and down the coast for days and days and just. Simpler then. You taught me how to swim. <laughs> I still can't believe you didn't know how. It's funny. What is? <laughs> After everything that's happened, everything we've been through, boy. <sighs> still, uh, Still remember that feeling of first being in the ocean, surrounding me. I felt so insignificant. Like anything was possible. I don't even know what you call that anymore. 
It's called hope. You know me well enough. Dinner is ready for the victor. Do hurry as it's best served for warm. Please ring the bell when you're ready. It was really good seeing you. Thank you. 